Hello, welcome to our series on determinants. In this video, we shall solve a medium difficulty problem. Right? In this problem, we need to show that the given determinant without expanding, show that the given determinant is equal to zero. We shall use the properties of determinant to show that the value of this given determinant is zero. Now, take a look at this. So let's expand this products here and the given determinant becomes 1 1 1 BC CA AB and this becomes AB plus AC we just open the bracket and multiply them BC plus BA CA plus CB All right so now the next step is to find out if we can find a column which is same as some other column right because we know that this has to be zero and the only reason where this becomes zero only property that makes a determinant zero is when two rows or two columns are equal right so let's see how we can make it so now that we know that there is a one one and one if we add this if you look at these two columns right if we add these two columns, all these values become equal. Just observe how we do it. Suppose I do C2 becomes C2 plus C3, right? This becomes BC plus AB plus AC. This becomes CA plus BC plus BA. This becomes AB plus CA plus CB. Right. And the last term becomes, the last term remains the same, AB plus AC, BC plus C, BA, and CA plus CB. All these terms are actually equal. What is it? So here what we have done is we've used property number, property number 6, right? Now we're going to use property number four. Property number four says if a column is multi all elements of a column is multiplied by the same number, we can take that outside the determinant, right? So the value is AB plus BC plus CA, which is common here. This is that, this is that, this is that, right? You take that common then this becomes 1, 1 and 1 and AP, AB plus AC, BC plus BA, CA plus CB, right? So what we have done, we have used property number 4 here, right? Now look at this determinant. Two columns have equal values, equal rows, elements. So this becomes actually AB plus AC plus BC into 0, which is equal to 0. Hence, the problem is solved. So, it is so easy. Only you need to remember all the properties of matrices. Thanks for watching MathSmart. Subscribe to MathSmart. Thank you.